गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ द मैसेमरी फिनिश दैट इज नथिंग बट द पॉइंट नहीं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर यू इंट्रोड्यूसिंग एनी न्यू टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द टेक्निकल डेफिनेशन अबाउट द दैट टॉपिक सो इट्स माई ड्यूटी टू एक्सप्लेन यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द पॉइंट नहीं पॉइंटनिंग इज द फिनिशिंग of the mortar joints in a brick or the stone masonry construction so again i am going to repeat the definition of the pointing it is very simple it is nothing but the one type of masonry finishes of a mortar joints whether it is brick or stone any type of masonry which is present in your construction it does not matter but it is nothing but the one type of finishes of a mortar joints point pointing is a implementing of a joints to a depth of 10 mm to 20 mm and filling it with a better quality mortar in a desirable shape or the desirable shape the it is implementing such type of pointing technology which is implementing of the joints at a depth of 10 mm to 20 mm with the better quality of the mortar in the desired shape it is done for the cement mortar and lime mortar joints this pointing technology is used in the both type of mortar that is cement as well as lime mortar joints in exposed masonry which is open joints are considered to be a weakest and most vulnerable spots from which rainwater or what dampness can enter in the exposed masonry suppose let's take example about Uh, the stone masonry suppose assume these are the stone masonries these these are the different type of stone masonries like this okay these are the stone masonries in this these all are stone we can say these are the all stones and in this there is a this is nothing but the one joint this is second joint these are the what some of the joints which are present okay and that that are exposed masonry these joints this particular joints are considered these joints are considered these joints are considered as a weakest and most these spots which rainwater or dampness here from this the rainwater and dampness may be enter into that particular structure and it that structure get gets weakest structure then the mortar for the pointing work for the lime mortar there is a different proportion of the mortar and for the cement mortar there is a different proportion of the mortar for the lime mortar proportion is 1 as to 2 and cement mortar proportion is 1 as to 3 now for the lime mortar 1 as to 2 means what one one stands for fat lime and second or two stands for sand or surki you know that surki is nothing but the type of sand secondly cement mortar 1 as to 3 means one pro- one proportion is stand for the cement and three proportion is stand for the sand so this is all about the definition of the pointing first of all it is nothing but the mor- finishing of the masonry finishing of mortar joints which is used in the brick or the stone masonry secondly the important um, point is nothing but the depth that is 10 mm to 20 mm then for the exposed masonry what happen the joints are considered as a weakest and f- through that joints the water or we can say droplets of the water or dampness is enter into that particular structure and may g- your structure get weaker or leak or maybe the leakage is present into your structure then the mortar of pointing work again the two types of mortar that is lime and cement mortar for the lime it is 1 as to 2 one stands for lime and two stands for surki or sand then cement mortar one stands for cement and three stand for sand next is the method of pointing how this technology is used that is nothing but the method of pointing after preparing the surface as mentioned above mortar is carefully placed in the joints using a small trowel you know about the trowel in the last video we already seen the particular uh construction equipment those who are used in the stone as well as brick masonry so the small with the help of small travel 
you have to fill the joints the place mortar should be of desired shapes whenever the fresh mortar is placed in the joints it should be pressed hardly to gain a strong bond with old interior mortar this last statement is very important uh, whenever the fresh mortar is placed in the joints okay whenever the flesh mortar is of place in the joints suppose let's take example about the joints this is nothing but the your joint okay and what you have to do you have to place you have to place the mortar over here you have to you have to place mortar over here like this this is the green uh, color indicate your mortar and the red line indicate your gap or the joint okay it should be pressed hardly to gain strong bond with the old interior mortar you have to place this concrete or you have to place this entire um, uh, mortar with a you know, strong bond with the help of strong bond then next uh, sentence is nothing but the care should be taken while using a ashlar or first class brick work otherwise the mortar does not cover the face edge what care you have to consider or what care should be taken while using the ashlar or the first class brick work the mortar does not cover the face edge so that's why you have to take the particular precautions for the same the pointed surface is kept wet for at least a week or till it sets after application the pointed surface where you have to apply this point pointing technology on that surface that surface you have to kept wet for at least a week or till it sets after application then it is easily sets on ashlar or first class brick work otherwise the mortar does not cover the face of that particular edge okay so this is about the particular method of the pointing with the help of travel you have to apply the mortar then in the joints when you are going to apply the mortar the fresh mortar is a place in that joint it should be pressed hardly second you have to take care about the ashlar or first class type of brick work this is all about the method of pointing in the next uh, slide we have to uh, see the types of pointing there are various type of pointing there are total eight types of pointing so very flush first is nothing but flush pointing so while talk about the flush type uh, pointing in this type of pointing mortar is press hard in the racked joints and by finishing of flush with the edge of masonry units the edge are neatly trimmed with the trowel and stretch edge it does not give a good appearance but flush pointing is more durable because of resting the provision of the space for the dust water etc due to this reason this method is extensively used what happen in this flush pointing in this type of pointing joints are racked and they are finished flush with the face of the brick masonry the edges are the properly trim edges it is simplest type of pointing which is extensively used this pointing does not give good appearance but it is very durable and it gives not allowed to dust dirt to uh, load over on this particular uh construction work if you uh, see the picture you will get the idea about the flush pointing next is nothing but the recessed pointing next is nothing but the recessed pointing in this case mortar is a pressing back by a 5 mm or more than the edge during placing of the mortar the face of the pointing is kept vertical by a suitable tool that is nothing but the trowel this type gives a very good appearance okay in this recessed pointing first of all there is one benchmark the mortar is pressing back by a 5 mm or more than this edge then during placing of the mortar when you are going to place the mortar on the face of that pointing it is kept vertical by with the or by a suitable tool that is nothing but the trowel in this type this Uh, sorry this is the type which give a good appearance now third is nothing but the bedded pointing okay in this bedded pointing it is very important type uh, 
of the type of pointing because this separate question is was asked in uh, December 2015 for 2.5 marks in the University of Mumbai uh, that is a bedded pointing it is formed a steel or iron with a concave edge it gives a good appearance but it will damage easily when compared to the each other in this type of pointing it gives the good appearance but it is difficult to maintain also then the rag joints are fill up with the mortar and finish flush with the face of the wall and then bead is formed by a steel rod having concave edge in the middle of the joints so this is all about the bedded joints next is nothing but the struck pointing the st this is the modification of flush pointing in which the face the po pointing is kept inclined which its super edge pressed inside by 10 mm which drains water easily if you observe this second type that is recessive pointing in this mortar is pressing by 5 mm or more than this edge but in this struck pointing you have to press your mortar by face 10 mm and which is drains water easily this is the modification of flush pointing in which the face of the pointing is kept inclined and its upper edge pressed inside by a 10 mm because of which water is drained easily so this is all about the struck pointing next is nothing but the rubbed kid or groove pointing okay so in this type of pointing the racked joints are fill up flush with the face of the wall and semi circular notches are formed by a special tool this type of pointing is commonly used it improves the appearance of the wall so this is all about the groove pointing next is nothing but the tuck tuck pointing in this case mortar is pressed in the racked joints first and finishing flush with the face while the press mortar is given groove or narrow channel is cut in the center of the groove which is having a 5 mm width and 3 mm depth for your better understanding you have to look towards the figure you will get the you will get an idea about how this tuck pointing is done. This groove is then filled with the white cement putty that, that is used in the painting work kept projecting beyond the face of the joint by 3 mm. If the projection is done in the mortar it is called buster pointing or half tuck pointing. If the projection is the done in the pointing process it is nothing but the buster pointing or half tuck pointing so it is all about the tuck pointing next is nothing but the v pointing in this type of pointing either v shaped groove or maintain in the finished surface of the pointing plaster when it is still green or by projecting the v shape of the pointing face outside the wall surface this is all about the v pointing then last is nothing but the weathered pointing this is the it is also called as struck struck pointing also in this type the face of the pointing is not kept vertical but it is kept inclined. The upper edge of the pointing plaster is a press inside the masonry by about 10 mm and lower edge is finished level with the face of the masonry. This type of pointing is mostly used for the brickwork particularly for the finishing the horizontal joints. So this is all about the weather pointing. So in today's lecture what we learn that is nothing but the pointing pointing proportion then the types of pointing total there are eight type of pointing first is nothing but the beaded pointing flush then the recessed rubbed or groove pointing then tuck pointing v pointing feathered or struck pointing and lastly struck 
pointly i hope you everybody enjoy this session you learn various thing from this uh, masonry finishes which is very important in a construction work and uh, thank you